Hi, and welcome back to day two. So today I am diving into sharing a really, really powerful tool for releasing. So carrying on from yesterday, all about releasing the past and some of the things that are holding us back. I talked more about like the mental components and some of the mindset shifts and subconscious reprogramming shifts or just like mindfulness hacks you could use. And today is a bit more of the deep energetic release work that you can use as well. So I'm super, super excited about today's video and about sharing this tool with you guys. Obviously, as discussed yesterday, the mindset piece is so important, but there's also the energetics. And so as you're watching this video, please comment down below, say hi. If you're catching the replay later, comment replay so that I can see who's here and I can check in and chat with you. Please feel free to ask any questions or share any experiences as we go. So when it comes to a lot of blocks, whether this is unworthiness, insecurities, self-doubt, um, what else did I put on there? Trauma, you know, anything that keeps us stuck in old patterns or feeling uh, patterns of feeling small and places where we're feeling stuck. There is a really important understanding uh, that I think needs to be shared here around the energetic side of those emotions and how we might not even be consciously aware of the things that we're holding on to. Okay, because Let's be honest, every single one of us, you know, we have busy lives, we have so much going on, and a lot of different things have happened in each of our lives, right? None of us are strangers to suffering or to any of those feelings and emotions that I just shared. We've all been um, through our fair share of struggles or insecurities or unworthiness, and so the thing is, is that most of us, myself included, until I started really doing this work, like most of us just continue to plug away and to try to keep living our life and try to keep busy and I've got these things to do. And and so we kind of just like store and hold that pain or trauma or those emotions and beliefs and we're carrying them, but we're not like consciously aware of them. And so what can happen from that place is that then it actually creates patterns. And this is where uh, maybe we can make this task one, <laughs> task one of day two. So you can feel free to share it um, on the comments here or in the group later. Um, are there any kind of patterns that are recurring in your life that you are consciously aware of? Because if you can be consciously aware of the pattern of like, oh, this thing keeps happening, or I keep attracting this, or no matter what job I work at, I still feel like I'm not good enough, right? That was a big one for me. And like, no matter what I achieve or accomplish, I still feel like I don't belong no matter where I am, right? That was a big thing. So uncovering the pattern and then looking at the root cause of that. And so for those examples I just shared, that comes down to like unworthiness. And so then the energy that I'm carrying around that unworthiness without realizing it, you know, for a long time I would be like, oh, you know, why I just don't understand why I still don't fit in or why these people still don't like me or why no one's like complimenting or giving me praise when I'm doing such a good job. Well, it's because I'm still in the energy of unworthiness and I'm carrying that around without realizing it. And so it's continuing to show up in my life even more. And so what I want to share with this tool today is a really, really deep meditation to help you actively uncover and release these blocks. And what I refer to as like shadow, these parts, these shadow parts of you that you're holding on to, whether you're aware of them or not, and it's keeping you held back. It's keeping you small or stuck in that very limited and kind of struggling place, right? And so we go through our life and we come up against all these different challenges. We navigate them the best that we can with what we know at the time, but we're still most likely carrying it and holding on to a piece of it. And so this uh, meditation, which I'm really excited, I'll be sharing with you um, after. Make sure you comment, let me know if you want it. Say, yes, me, please. <laughs> and I'll send you the link after I finish this live video. Um, 
but this meditation I actually just listened to it myself before jumping on here today and I like so I have been doing deep meditation deep energetic releases a lot of subconscious reprogramming this has been like my my real job for like three or four years this has been my day job for like eight years of just seeking and searching and gathering all these different tools and trying everything I could and doing a lot of heavy releasing in that process and there's still layers and so that's what I want to preface maybe quickly because it's a lifelong journey where there are still going to be layers that you aren't aware of and so I'm going through this meditation today and I want to share like a personal story that came up for me because I think a lot of you will probably relate to it in some way or another um, and to just show you that this process is so powerful and healing and in uncovering those layers and so throughout the meditation what you'll see when you do it is that there's a part where I invite you to let go and like release some of these things that you're carrying whether you're aware of them or not. And so what can come through in that moment is different memories or experiences from your subconscious that again, you might not be consciously aware of, you might not be thinking about every single day, you may not realize it's affecting you, but it's there. And so for me, I was so overwhelmed <laughs> by this big release of this, this thing that came up for me. Um, which I was not aware was holding the extent or the weight that it actually was. And I felt this huge weight be lifted off my shoulders in the process. And what came up for me was um, this, you know, because of the trauma and the grief I experienced when my brother passed away, and then I kind of became like the only child in a sense. And consciously I was very aware of this at the time I definitely felt some pressure since then because I kind of felt like well now it's all on me with my parents and um whether it's like looking after them or whether it's just like making them proud or you know I felt like there was a lot of pressure on me now all of a sudden as the only child but what I wasn't aware of and what came up today was how much that was fueling this like innate hustle and force to prove myself and to prove my worth and I started to cry in this release because I I could see and feel how I I had this subconscious belief that I needed to prove my worth to my parents to prove that like my life mattered basically because there was some survivor's guilt around like he passed away and I'm still here and so if I'm still here like I have to prove that I deserve it almost and this is like a really um heavy weight to carry and even if you haven't been through the same experience with like losing a sibling I'm probably like 99% sure that every single one of you has experienced in some form a feeling of I'm not good enough and like I'm not deserving or I'm not worthy and I need to prove that I am or I need to accomplish XYZ and maybe then that will make me matter or maybe then I'll get the praise and love from my parents or from my boss or from my partner, right? I need to tick these certain boxes and then I'll be enough. And so that's really like an unworthiness shadow that is playing and lingering in the background of so many people's minds. And you can imagine how heavy that is to carry, whether you realize it or not. And so the beauty of this work and the beauty of the meditation I'm going to share with you is that it helps you to release these things. And the second you have that awareness and you have that release, the, the amazing, amazing thing about the human mind is that it doesn't know the difference between real or imagination, which is why visualization is one of the most powerful tools when it comes to self-identity, to building confidence, to um, releasing things and knowing who you truly are, because you can meditate or visualize or really just like paint this picture in your mind and your brain doesn't know whether it's really happening or whether you're just imagining it. 
So you paint this image of what's going on and your brain believes that it's truly happening. So your brain is gonna send the signals to your body. It's gonna send the signals out. It's also sending that energetic frequency out into the universe, out into the quantum field, which is the field of energy that connects all of us, right? And all things. And it's now sending out this new frequency of the things that you've released that you're no longer identifying or holding on to. Or it's sending out this frequency and this new image of how you see yourself now as like the strong, the free, the worthy, the capable, you know, the light version of you who's not carrying the weight of the past. And your brain believes that to be truly happening, even if you're just doing it in a visualization. So I want to like run home <laughs> the immense power that comes from meditation and from this kind of visualization work. Okay. And this is the stuff that has helped me over the last few years, like radically release so many weights, so much heaviness that are around me or that I'm holding on to and really start to reshape the way I do see myself. So wrapping this up, <laughs> if you're holding on to unworthiness or if you feel like there's these insecurities that you have all the time and they're always like, or these limiting beliefs and doubts and this chatter in your mind is just like really making you feel small or making you feel like you're not enough, that can be deeply released in this process. And your brain through the visualization sees and watches, oh wait, like she's letting go of that belief. And oh, you know, that thing doesn't mean as much anymore because she's sending that away too, right? And like that story or that experience where, you know, she felt like she didn't matter. Well, we're actually like detaching from it. We're putting it over here instead of continuing to hold it as her story, right? We're moving these things and in that process, you're literally training your brain and reprogramming your brain to no longer identify so strongly and hold on to that. So it's such an incredibly powerful process um, that like, I wish I could just like run home even more somehow how powerful it is because I'm sure there are gonna be people watching this who are gonna be like, meditation hasn't worked for me or like, I don't really believe in that or um, nothing's happened the last few times I meditated. So like it's <laughs> my mind still chattering or my mind's still really busy. Or it's still telling that story. But I promise if you go into this process with an open mind, you will come out of it with a different perspective, a different view of yourself and a different energy. And the worst case scenario, the absolute worst case scenario of you giving this a try is that you release some emotions and you release some things that you've been holding on to and believing about yourself and you feel lighter after like that's the worst thing that could happen because <laughs> like that's the bare minimum you're gonna get like at least that benefit most likely you're gonna get so much more and you're gonna feel like a huge weight has been lifted off your shoulders and a huge new awareness is created about like wow, I'm actually so much more than all of these things and I have the power to rewrite my story right here, right now, which is amazing. And that's what I wish for every single one of you. So um, to wrap that up, I will drop the link for this meditation, for this really powerful journey that I'm gonna take you on. I'll drop it down below um, and please feel free to, after you do it, I'd love for you to come back into the group and do that as... Um, what day two task two so um i already forget what task one was <laughs> but you can comment uh or post in the group hashtag day two hashtag task two and share what comes up for you in this meditation because i know it's going to bring something really powerful for each and every one of you and i'm actually super excited to see like the profound releases and shifts and the diversity of it because I know everyone's going to get something different from this so please come back and share it and if you found this helpful as always please make sure you give it a thumbs up uh, or put some hearts share your love and ask any questions I'll come back and check those out after as well and um, yes just really really giving this tool a try and you will not be disappointed
so I will will patiently <laughs> and excitedly await the breakthroughs and the realizations that come for you from doing it. And uh, then I will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye guys.